So what you can do to achieve this result is open up Studio and uh, you'll actually drag and drop, edit the cell order line, drag and drop a field here called discounted unit price. And that's just a monetary field. So you drag, drop that there. I've already done it. Now, once you've done that, what we're going to do is we're going to look at the subtotal, which is price subtotal, and we're going to divide it by product UOM QTY. And let's look at how to write that. So here we can copy this as it is. And we're going to say for this record, which is the X Studio discounted price, oops, we are going to say it equals record dot price subtotal divided by record dot product UOM QTY. And for these fields, they're just going to be these two items here. And we can close it out. And now what we'll do is go to the sale order, create, and we'll test it. So I have a test product here. Now we can say if I'm selling 10 units at $10 at a 5% discount, $9.50 is what I pay per discounted unit price. Or if I have 120 units at uh, $33.50 with a 17% discount, it'll be $27.81 at the discounted unit price here. So that is um, obviously it's a calculated field, so it's it's not editable because it's just telling me what the discounted rate is. Um, but you can see how the math works here. Again, something simple is if we have one unit for fifty dollars at a twenty five percent discount, then we can see here the total is thirty seven fifty, or at a fifty percent discount, the total is twenty five. So you can follow that logic that I just wrote. Um, again, Odoo wouldn't. Um, wouldn't support that unless we developed it, but it's, it's simple enough. It's up to you. Thanks.